Hey everyone, welcome on my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you a simple food app API and uh, how to create this API uh, in your Visual Studio. So uh, after that uh, we will go for uh, xamarin.forms and uh, for the UI purpose and consume that API on that platform. So uh, first of all create that uh, food app uh, with the easy steps and you can make your food online food uh, app uh, with the xamarin.forms okay so that uh, solution explorer we have a food app or you uh, you know that how to create a web api in visual studio that is the simple step you can done already so uh, just to start this uh, with the packages so just right click on the food app and just go for the edit project file and you notice that we have mentioned uh, project files and the dot, uh, target framework is .NET 5.0 and the package references is ASP.NETCore.Authentication.Plugin for authentication plugin is used to make password secure and also used for the uh, SHA scheme okay the next thing is ASP.NETCore.Image uh, Uploader that uh, package is used to save the image in your local folder in your local directory and the next package is microsoft.asp.netcore.authentication.jwtbr and that uh, jwtbr is actually uh, written a token based authentication system and the token is uh, generated in a, uh, by the api system the next thing is microsoft.asp.netcore.mvc.newtonsoft.json and Newton soft JSON is actually convert that serialize uh, used for the serialization and deserialization purpose. The next thing is Microsoft dot entity framework core and that package is used to build your uh, model to physical database and ORM system. And the next one is Microsoft dot entity framework core dot SQL server. And in this project, you know that we use um, SQL server. The next one is swashbuckle dot ASP net core and that package is used to uh, create uh, API documentation okay so uh, that thing is clear okay so just close that file food app dot project and how to add these projects uh, these packages in your uh, solution explorer uh, like right click on it and ma manage nuget package and just uh, simple type uh, the any package name like uh, micro uh, asp.net code dot authentication dot plugin and that is the installed package these are so just type that name asp.net code dot authentication dot plugin asp.net code dot image uploader microsoft dot asp.net code dot authentication dot jwt bearer newton soft json and entity framework core and sql server so these are the installed packages then the next thing is going for the model so just right click on it and show these are models so first of all go for the users so here we have a users just double click on it and here we have so in the user class uh, we have uh, some properties like id name email role and the passwords e id name email and password is a common thing but the role is mandatory and because the role field is created for the admin as well as the user okay so a user have multiple orders you know that okay so uh, user uh, it's not only a, a admin uh, also a uh, customer okay so here we have order and just go for the uh, the next thing is the product and the category also so here we have a category fields id title category image uri that is the type of string and image array that is uh, used for the memory stream that is not mapped with the physical database so just use data annotations uh, not mapped and the next one is the a category have multiple products okay a single category have multiple products and in the product class you notice that we have some properties like that uh, id title description image uri price is popular uh, because the product is popular or not category ID and the image array that is the product that is not mapped with the physical database so just use image array 
and a product also we have a order detail page okay so uh, and also the cart items a product have multiple cart items okay and the next one is order okay so in the order so sorry the next one is the cart because the product is actually inserted by the customer into the cart so a cart have id cart id product id that uh, that pick uh, that product id is used to pick any product informations so like price quantity total amount and the customer id because the which customer is related to the cart id so here we have a customer id okay and that customer id is actually uh, linked with the user okay so there we have okay okay so the next one is the order and in the order you can see id name and order detail is uh, order related to the customer actually and order detail is related to the product so here we have integer id name address phone total and order date and is completed or not that is order is completed or not user id a order have multiple order details also mentioned there is and in the order detail we have some product information like the product id product order id and order and order total quantity and the price so that are these are the tables and you can say these are the models in the in our food api so models are clear the next one is the data so application db context is created and here we have a application db context application db context inherited with the db context file and here we have uh, these are the tables users categories orders cart items products and order detail okay so these are the tables which is inserted in the uh, database table that is users categories orders cart items products and order details so these are the tables okay so this is the application db context file the next one is startup file okay so just go for the startup.cs file and just before going for a startup class just use app settings.json actually app settings.json file have, we have some uh, uh, many things to remember but uh, one by one to discuss uh, all these things okay so the first of all discussed with the connection string so here we have a sql server connection string and these that is the sql server connection string local db ms sql local db database is food app db trusted connection is true and multiple active results set is true okay so this is the connection string and that connection string is used in the startup.cs file as usual you know so here we have a connection string to use so one by one i uh, i want to discuss all these things so just use this okay so here we have a um, configure service method in the configure service method you can use service dot add controllers add controllers with views and the next thing is the newton soft json file add uh, controller with the views dot add newton soft json file option dot serializer settings dot reference loop handling so here we have a service dot add controller with views dot add newton soft json file sorry json method and in which we have a options option dot serializer settings dot reference loop handling newton soft dot json dot reference loop handling dot ignore it means uh, if you got any type of error related to the uh, cyclic redundancy check error uh, like cyclic redundancy i mean to say that uh, you uh, your model class have a uh, cyclic reference integrity is generated that type of error is generated so if you want to ignore that type of error so just use this option dot serializer settings reference loop handling my newton soft dot json reference loop handling dot ignore okay and the next thing is service dot add authentication okay in the uh, authentication scheme i use uh, jwt bearer defaults jwt bearer default i mean to say that uh, jwt bearer settings dot authentication scheme dot add jwt bearer options options dot token validation parameter and in which we have a token validation parameters like that 
वैलिड इशूअर वैलिड ऑडियंस वैलिड लाइफ टाइम वैलिडेट इशूअर साइन इन की वैलिड इशूअर वैलिड ऑडियंस इशूअर साइन इन की एंड दीज आर द इशूअर साइन इन की वैलिड इशूअर इज टोकन्स डॉट इशूअर एंड वैलिड ऑडियंस इज ऑल्सो टोकन्स डॉट इशूअर एंड सीमेट्रिक सिक्योरिटी की आई वॉन्ट टू यूज इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड कोडिंग इज यू टी एफ एट डॉट गेट वाइट्स एंड दैट थिंक इज की दैट इज द सिक्सटीन डिजिट्स की एंड द क्लॉक स्क्यू इज द टाइम स्पेंड जीरो सो दैट सेटिंग्स इज पिक्ड फ्रॉम द कॉन्फिग्रेशन फाइल सो हेयर वी हैव ए एप सेटिंग्स टॉर्चेशन फाइल जस्ट ओपन इट एंड यू कैन यूज टोकन्स टोकन्स जस्ट यूज की टोकन्स जस्ट यूज इशूअर and token just use access expiry seconds so here we have a token issuer token issuer in the valid audience also and in the symmetric security key we have a tokens dot key so this is the jwt bearer settings you can use that settings in any projects if you want to add jwt bearer settings the next one is the configuration settings for the connection string to save uh, your uh, models in the database in the sql server so here, here we have a service dot add db context file application db context option is option dot use sql server and the connection string is that and if you want to make uh, your uh, api documentation just use swagger so service dot add swagger generate generation c c dot swagger dot doc uh, version number so new open for api info that is title is food app version is v1 okay so the next one is that is the swagger so you can use is development interface so just in that development environment you generate the swagger so here we have and the next one is this file that is the app dot http uh, redirection use statics files use routing authentication authorization and context dot database dot ensure created okay and use endpoints like that endpoints dot map controls so these are the uh, mm, that is the startup dot sys file okay so you can just uh, use it okay so the next one is controller class so in the next uh, lesson i will discuss about all these controller and just uh, after that we will test in the uh, postman okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to xamarin projects xamarin.forms project with the esp.net core api thank you very much for watching